behold, the thing has returned to exact its revenge in an entirely new form. The heroes in our last episode exploited its weakness of falling apart underneath its own weight. But now, it's got an entirely new form that falls apart half as often. Uh, Raspberry Pi portable thingy, I mean. Most, mostly made out of Lego Technic. Some minifigs here to prove that it is actually Lego. Uh, screen controller back here, held together with friction mostly. Got the Raspberry Pi, its battery. USB hub and a keyboard thing. A second battery that powers just the screen. Uh, custom made cable. And then uh, it does work off 5 volts at 1 amp on the from the battery. So that's good. I'm surprised it does do that. It had a problem running off a uh, power supply for a Belkin router that was 9 volts at 1 amp but ran perfectly off a Linksys router power supply that ran at 12 volts at 1 amp so I'm surprised it runs off 5 volts at 1 amp fairly well. A uh, 5 inch screen from Adafruit and its controller. Got an HDMI cable from Radio Shack. Unfortunately it's the smallest I could source locally with uh, 3 foot length. Fairly thin I'll have to order a smaller one online at some point. Uh, really kind of started out as just a uh, display box for the screen since it has a separate controller. Wanted to have it all together. And just kind of evolved into a handle just to see if I could do it. Way big right now. Part of that's Lego. Part of that's just bodging things together. It's got a control board here. For the LCD, and right now it's running Laka. I think that's how you pronounce it. Got a wireless keyboard running it right now. I have a small keyboard that would fit like right here, but I cannot locate it. Uh, and all the game pads I had did not work with this for some reason. Oops. X. And there's Blaster Master. In theory, I could integrate controls here and here and just kind of use it like a giant Game Boy. Probably just going to take it apart and make it back into a um, just a screen holder. That's kind of it. It plays games through a wireless keyboard and it's hard to hold one handed because it's actually kind of heavy with, you know, two batteries, a bunch of controller boards. The Lego part's actually pretty light, it's just all the other gubbins attached. Well, that's it for now.